Hello inmates and welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. In today's episode, we will discuss the latest two issues of Nightwing, issues 78 and 79, by writer Tom Taylor and artist Bruno Redondo. As usual, before we dive in, I'd like to deliver some context by mentioning other books to read before picking these two issues up. Seriously, if you have any vague knowledge on who Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon are, then you don't really need to read anything before picking up these issues, in my opinion. The Nightwing books have been pretty unreadable since 2009's run by Peter J. Tomasi, which you can pick up in trade paperback form called Nightwing, Guardian of Gotham. And if you want to learn more about either Dick Grayson or Barbara Gordon, definitely pick up Robin Year One, Nightwing Year One, and Batgirl Year One. And if you want to see Barbara's transitions into Oracle, I highly recommend the John Ostrander Suicide Squad run from the late 80s, early 90s, as well as the first Gail Simone run on Birds of Prey. And lastly, if you want to see how the Bat family lost their friend and mentor, Alfred Pennyworth, feel free to pick up the City of Bane collection. Now, on to these two amazing issues. In the aftermath of Alfred's death, Dick inherits hundreds of millions of dollars, left behind by Alfred, along with a note in the event of his passing. Moving back to Bloodhaven, a city where Dick operated out of for many years, now that he's back in town, he has a new mission and funding to help complete that mission. Barbara returns to her role as Oracle and helps Dick Grayson settle in, while also rekindling their on-again, off-again relationship. Bloodhaven has always been a city full of crime and poverty, but now they're at an all-time high. So a new mayor comes in, a mayor that's related to Tony Zuko, the man who once killed Dick Grayson's parents all those years ago at Haley's Circus. Now with enough money to bring about real change, Dick and Barbara begin a new adventure together that will bring them from helping the homeless to taking down corrupt politicians. I for one love the art in these issues, and I'm so excited to see where these two characters go from here. I can't recommend these issues enough, and I also don't want to spoil any more than I already have. This book gets a resounding 9 out of 10 for me, so be sure to pick them up at your local comic shop or in digital today. Well, that's it for me. Be sure to like and leave a comment, share this video with a friend, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any DC content from me in the future. Thanks so much. See you next time. Peace.